and an officer involved shooting in Peoria, injuring that officer and killing the suspect. This happened near 87th Avenue and Bell at a Dodge dealership. Video from Air 15 shows police cars blocking off streets around that scene. That scene later moved to a hospital where the officer was taken to be checked out and has since been released. We have team coverage for you tonight. Our Lillian Donahue is at the hospital hearing from city leaders. But first, we begin with Jordan Bonke, who is still out on that scene learning more about the shooting and that suspect. Jordan. Javier, the second that we got out here, we were able to hear from a dealership employee and they shared with us what they described as a barrage of gunfire. Then we went across the street and we were able to hear from another Buick dealership employee who showed us where a bullet ricocheted off a pillar and nearly went inside the lobby of that dealership. Police just shared with us just less than an hour ago that the suspects that they were after here, the suspect that they were after, is one of the worst of the worst. At 87th Avenue and Bell Road in Peoria, near several car dealerships, a police shooting witnessed by plenty of people. Hearing gunfire is how J.J. Mays started his work day. Two quick shots and then a barrage of probably about 12 to 15 after that. We're told the officers involved were part of a fugitive apprehension detail. They go after the worst of the worst. Um, and they're very, very well trained. Um, this is what they do on a day in and day out basis. Police were trying to arrest 30 year old Junior Reyes, who was wanted for multiple prior felonies, including crimes against two Phoenix police officers. As they approached him, police say he had a handgun. We're told three other officers opened fire and killed him. Reyes died at the hospital. One officer was shot, but is expected to be okay. Most of the witnesses were working at dealerships, shocked to see a shooting of this magnitude so close to a place of business. What in God's green earth? Rita Hillison said many of her Buick team members were in a meeting when they heard the gunfire. Otherwise, they may have been on the lot. No cars were hit, we're told, but one bullet ricocheted off a pillar and cracked the glass of the lobby, many telling us it could have been worse. And then I thought, well, hopefully nobody got hurt in service. It, that's my initial reaction. I would have never in a million years thought it would be a shooting. Now, Phoenix police did say that they will release that critical incident video, and that's the body camera that was worn during this officer involved shooting within that 14 day time frame. That's policy for Phoenix PD. As for 87th Avenue, this area is expected to be closed off for the next couple and maybe even longer couple hours. We're in Peoria, Jordan Bonke, ABC 15, Arizona. Thank you, Jordan. We turn now to ABC 15's Lillian Donahue, just miles away from that scene at the hospital where that officer was taken. And Lillian, there were some pointed and emotional comments from city leaders out there. And thankfully, that officer has now been released. Yeah, certainly, Javier, both the Phoenix mayor and police chief were here at Banner Medical off of Thunderbird. I'll have what they said in just a moment, but first, that officer treated here at Banner with a gunshot wound to the leg. Now he is at home recovering, expected to fully recover. Immediately after the shooting, we came here to Banner. We got that video showing multiple officers from many different agencies around the emergency center here. Wife also came to the hospital earlier today. We know that the suspect died here from his injuries. Police Chief Michael Sullivan and Mayor Kate Gallego sung the praises of the injured officer and then said the suspect, Junior Reyes, had been repeatedly violent to law enforcement. Our officers go to work every day so that we can breathe most e more easily. And it's hard to have days like this when one of our officers was working to apprehend uh, violent criminal. And Chief Sullivan said that is never the goal to have loss of life. He never wants that to happen. But unfortunately, that was a reality for the suspect today. Reporting from Banner Thunderbird, Lillian Donahue, ABC 15, Arizona.